In the previous video, we are finishing our form using Material UI. It is the time that we use Formic for our form handling. Let's separate our form display to another file first. Create a functional component named MyForm. Then copy all of our code from the inside of the app component to it. Let's move our styling too. In the app component, just return our newly created component, my form. Let's see if it's still working. Yes, it is. Now let's use the forming. On the app component, define our forming component and use my form as the component. Formic needs initial values and on submit, so we created a dummy for storage. Okay, still working. If you feel lost, please watch my series about React TypeScript with Formic integration first. I'll put the link in the video description. Define our form model. Remember that we have name, email, Font, gender, hobbies. For hobbies, I will use string array. Set hobby and gift as optional. Now we can let the formic knows our model and define our initial values for non-optional data. Let's put empty string for now. To fully integrate our form with Formic, we need to receive our methods from Formic, which is props with Formic props data type. Formic props is generic, so we need to add our form model as type. I forgot to add export in our form model, let's add it. Now we can extract formic helpers from props variable. What we need the most is values, errors, handle chains, and handle submit. I think I will use form component from formic, so I won't need handle submit property. Let's try it. Not working, right? We need to set our button type to be a submit button so it can work. But even after I edit, we can't know if it's working or not. We need to show our values. Take values out from props. And add one more variable for form model for our result. And it's an optional variable. In on submit formic, let's add set field value from formic helper. We need it to set the result value manually. Use json.stringify for it. And don't forget to clean up the result value before we put all of our values inside the result variable. With this, we can almost see formic working. Just need one more thing, which is to show the result on our HTML.
If there's a result, then show the result. Let's try this. Okay, it's working but it's not what I want. First, let's style it better. We want to show the result below our label. Just use new line element for this. Refresh the browser and we can see the result we want. Now we know that the form is already working, but there's no values connected to our field. First, let's connect it to our name field. Value using values.name and on change using handle change form forming. Don't forget to give name to our field, because Formic uses it. Okay, it's working. Nice. Now we can add value, on change and name to our email and phone. How about our gender? For radio group, it's easy. Just add the name on change using handle change too. Let's see. It's working, right? But there's one flow. Let's say we want to have a default value. We can just set the value using values.gender. And then set our initial values on gender. Set it as male. Nice, right? Go to our hobbies. Again, it is pretty easy. Just add hobby as name and handle change for on change attribute inside the component. And because it is set as a string array, it has no problem to get the value. I love it. Last is our select component. It's also easy. Just use the name, value, and on change as usual. And it's done. With this, our form is perfectly integrated with Formic. Next part is form validation with YAP. See you in the next video.